go around the world and explore different facial tattoos, and then we'll um, decide what looks best on Clayton. All right, guys, this is the bookends. We're reading The Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. Spoilers! Spoilers! Now what, details? I guess so. Drink, drink. Go first. Drink. I can go first. What does your facial tattoo say about you? I'm gonna go around the world and explore different facial tattoos and culturally what they mean. And then we'll um, decide what looks best on Clayton. Okay. Um, so first we have Native Americans. Uh, I kind of grouped these together in one slide because we don't have a lot of information because there isn't a lot of written records. So most of this is passed down by oral tradition. So we'll start with the Mississippians. They're kind of take up the like southeastern part of the North America. Um, most of their facial tattoos are depicted on like clay sculptures like this. Um, warriors got them. They thought that the tattoo would capture the souls of those that they killed in battle, which is epic. And they usually had some kind of bird um, features like talons or beaks or wings because they worshiped the bird man. Um, other Native American cultures, often their tattoos represented like a rite of passage. They thought they had medicinal purposes. They were part of mourning rites, um, or a lot of them were just unknown. So here we have the hula pay. Um, I don't know what any of these mean, but it was pretty cool, different descriptions of ones um, that white people saw when they came and visited. Um, these guys, I can't, I can't say the name of the tribe, but on the left is a man that has an eagle's tail, and on the right is a woman whose tattoo is called Rain Coming From the Sky. Here we have Mojave with facial tattoos, uh, Yupik, which is, um, they're similar to Inuit, they're like in Alaska and, and Russia, and here we have a Lenape um, tribe leader, they call their tattoos Manitoua, and he, they thought that this painting depicted conjoined birds. So more bird man. Next we have the Ainu. They um, traditionally come from Japan and like the southern part of Russia. The women would get a tattoo around their mouths that was supposedly able to prevent spirits from entering the body. Here we have the Italia, I can't say that, Italia, Italial. Um, from Taiwan. Um, both men and women would get these tattoos called Tassan as a rite of passage. For men, it's usually like when they went head hunting and they got ahead. And for women, it's, you know, when they could weave cloth sufficiently. Um, next, we have the Cordillians. Uh, specifically, here we have the Kalinga. Um, they're from a certain island in the Philippines. Their tattoos were called Batuk. Warriors would get them and they were usually specific to the warrior um, and women would get them on their face as a protection during pregnancy. Next we have the Inuit, um, or as you know, colloquially we call them Eskimos in Alaska. Their tattoos are called, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, Yiditsu. Um, it's not very clear what they stand for. It's kind of guarded by the families, but generally it's a sense of maturity. Um, they represent certain rites of passage. And um, Kwana Chasing Horse on the left here said her specifically represent overcoming trauma. Next, we have the Mori from New Zealand. Uh, their tamako um, are like traditionally a sign of status or rank, but they are also, you know, a rite of passage and they're thought to enhance beauty. On the opposite side, we have the Apatani from India, and they got tattoos and these nasal piercings to subtract from their beauty in order to prevent being abducted. <laughs> um, but a common theme, here we have the Chin people from um, Southern China or the Chin state. And again, they got facial tattoos to deter their women from being kidnapped. And the pattern is unique to each tribe of Chin people. So you can um, identify what tribe they're from based on the pattern. The Durang, again, um, a province in China, in Yunnan, uh, where they would get facial tattoos to deter abduction. Most of these have been outlawed. Um, and then the younger generation hasn't even really wanted to, uh, considering that this is thought to make them less beautiful. 
which I think they're pretty cool, but whatever. Um, ancient Greece and Rome. Obviously, I don't have any pictures for you, but they used face tattoos to mark criminals, escape slaves, or conquered enemies during battle. And then in America, our face tattoos are generally associated with prison, um, mostly with gang affiliation. On uh, the top right here is the three dots called Mi Vida Loca, or it's supposed to represent the Holy Trinity and Latinas or Latinos in general, it's not really gang specific. In the bottom, we have the teardrop. A lot of people think this means that they've killed someone, but generally it means that they have lost someone who's important to them. Um, and then we have this guy who's a prime example of white supremacists. Um, and they have like, there's so many different tattoos that are like about Hitler, it's insane. Um, and he has pretty much all of them on his face. Okay, so now we're gonna give Clayton facial tattoos. Uh, the pick one first. Tattoo. Birdman. Okay, Michael wants Birdman. Is it working? That hasn't done it yet. So this would be Clayton with oh. Birdman tattoos. Obviously, I, I I had to draw I had to draw them myself because there aren't any pictures. I think it's a good look. Okay, who wants to go next? Uh, I want to do the Apatani. Let's see what that looks like. Excellent choice. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it. That's that. Yeah, no kidnapping cool. for you. I think the added bonus with this style is that you would have to shave your chin, right? So you'd have like mutton chops. I think that would also keep you from being kidnapped. Christine, any any requests? Um, let's do number two. Okay. Look at that! You're that you're a headhunter now. Good job, Clayton. Okay, and let's see. I think I really liked. I'm gonna just click the other ones. So this is. <laughs> I had to Photoshop your beard out of this, which is very challenging. So it doesn't even was... look like his face. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I think it's. I think it was pretty well done. Thanks, Lynn. Oh no. Okay, go back home. And then That's let's amazing. see, Rome. This is uh, you as a slave. Oh, I forget what it says. It's like um, I am a runaway. I think is what. It, it says fugitive on it. Oh no, it says stop me, I am a runaway. That's what the tattoo most commonly reported is said to have been tattooed on their forehead. Okay. And then America. Have your Oh hell yeah. <laughs> that that's that's going on my LinkedIn. <laughs> ICP is a way of life. That is a really good Photoshop job, actually. <laughs> Impression. That's what I got. Thanks for teaching us about tattoos. Rowan is a big inspiration for me. So, like, comment, subscribe, share. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>